Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to install a Windows subsystem for Linux 2 on Windows Server 2022. Windows subsystem for Linux 2 is one of the most popular feature for developers on newer Windows operating system. We can run Linux containers on WSL2 on Windows Server 2022 for development and testing purposes. WSL enables us to run a full Linux kernel directly onto our Windows machine without having to use an emulator. It enables using native Linux utilities, tools, applications and other technologies without spinning up a Linux virtual machine or even dual booting a host operating system between Windows and Linux. As a result, it can be a great way to learn about virtualization, Linux and other technologies that are keys to DevOps. WSL2 requires virtualization to be enabled. If virtualization is turned off, you can enable it by accessing the BIOS. An important point to remember is that WSL2 runs on a lightweight Hyper-V virtual machine which may conflict with third-party hypervisors like VirtualBox and VMware Workstation. To prevent issues, avoid running WSL and third-party virtualization software on the same computer. In this test lab, we have Windows Server 2022 VM. This VM currently has 4x vCPUs and 8GB VRAM allocated. To install Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 on Windows 10, Windows 11 and Windows Server 2022, open a Windows PowerShell as an administrator and run wsl-install command. Right-click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type cmd wsl-install and hit Enter key. This single command installs the Virtual Machine Platform feature, the Windows Subsystem for Linux and downloads an Ubuntu distribution for us. If your computer is connected with internet, it will also download the latest version of Windows Subsystem for Linux. Upon completion, it will prompt us to reboot our server. Type command shutdown-r-t0 and hit Enter key to restart server immediately. Upon rebooting and logging in, the system will automatically initiate the configuration of Ubuntu, the default WSL2 distribution. As we can see, it is currently downloading the Ubuntu, the default WSL2 distribution. It will take some time to download the Ubuntu and install it on this Windows Server 2022 using WSL2. Once the download is completed, WSL will start automatic installation of Ubuntu. Now, it is currently installing the Ubuntu on this Windows Server 2022 using WSL. At the end, we will be asked to create a Linux user account. Let me type msft admin and hit enter key. Set up a password for this user account. Retype the password again and hit enter key. Installation successful. That's all we need to do. Congratulations, you have successfully installed WSL2 with Ubuntu on your Windows Server 2022. Type command lsb underscore release hyphen a and hit enter key. This will give us information about the version of Ubuntu installed. We can see the release version 2204. Type command exit and hit enter key. To start the shell again, use the WSL command or the start menu shortcut called Ubuntu. Open the Start menu and select Ubuntu from the list of programs. This will launch the Ubuntu WSL shell again. Right-click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. At the PowerShell, type WSL-L-V to list Linux distributions installed on our computer. We can see we have only one Linux distribution installed with WSL and it is Ubuntu. You can see the name Ubuntu, state running and version is 2. Let me clear the screen. Now we want to check the version of WSL installed on our Windows server. Type command wsl-version and hit enter key. The output displays the WSL and kernel version information. 
We can also update the kernel for WSL by running command WSL hyphen hyphen update. Hit enter key to execute the same delete. As you can see, we have already installed the most recent version of Windows Subsystem for Linux. So we have latest version of WSL2 installed on our Windows server. Ubuntu was automatically installed alongside WSL2. We can also install additional Linux distributions using the wsl-install command. But first, run the wsl-list-online command to get the list of distributions we can install. We can see the list of valid distributions that can be installed on this Windows Server 2022 using WSL2. Let's check the current version of Ubuntu. Let's again go back to the WSL shell. Let's again run command lsb underscore release hyphen a and hit enter key. So we have Ubuntu 2204 installed in WSL. Now for example, if you want to install Ubuntu 2404, type command wsl hyphen hyphen install hyphen d ubuntu hyphen 2404 and hit enter. This command will download and install Ubuntu 2404 on this Windows Server 2022. Let's go back to Ubuntu shell. Like any other Linux distribution, we need to run updates and make sure we are fully patched. Type command sudo apt update and hit enter key. And the sudo password and hit enter key. Uh, let me clear the screen and now type command sudo apt upgrade and hit enter key. Total 155 package can be upgraded and two new package will be installed. Do you want to continue? Type y and hit enter key to continue with the upgrade process. This will take some time to download the updates and then it will start installing the updates on our Ubuntu 2204. That's all for this video on how to install WSL2 on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.